Jesus. 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 What I do when I don't know what to say And what do I say when I don't know what to pray I call on Jesus Jesus Jesus, Jesus. Oh, He's the only one who always make a way Oh, oh, Jesus, we need you now. Mm-hmm. Precious Jesus, we call on you right now. Jesus, Jesus, oh yes, we need you, we need you now, right now, Jesus, 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 Waymaker, Precious Jesus, Life Changer, Burden Lifter. Yoke destroyer, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Father, we come, we come to you in the name of Jesus, and we call upon you today. We thank you, thank you for your love, thank you for waking us up today. Thank you for the nearness of your presence, and for the warmth of your embrace. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, we love you. We appreciate you, Jesus. Thank you for what you're about to do now. We open our hearts to you. And we thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name, Jesus. we pray. Jesus. Jesus. Good morning, friends. Today, I'm just so happy to be with you. And I'd like to talk to you. I'd like to share with you from the Word of God in this devotional segment. I want to remind you that we serve a God who hears. Yes. We serve a God who hears. 1 John 5 verse 14 says, This is the confidence that we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. We serve a God who hears. We serve a God who heals. We serve a God who cares. We serve a God who delivers. And with Him, nothing is impossible. When we look around us and see the things that are going on in this world today, we can all agree that we are going through difficult times. In fact, some of the recent challenges that we've faced we could have never imagined that they would have come our way. But what do we do when we're faced with the trials of life? Who do we turn to when we feel like giving up? Who do you turn to when your heart is broken or bombarded with uncertainty and fear? Who do we call upon when we feel like no one cares. My brothers and sisters, I'm here to remind you today that his name is Jesus. Jesus. Right where you are, just begin to call upon him. Let's call his name together. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, deliverer. He is the only one that can turn the situations around. He's the only one that we can turn to in these trying times. He is the only one who can take us 
to higher ground. And he's the only one who can make what's wrong right. He's the only one who can turn our darkness into light. I'd like to take a few minutes to speak to you from my heart today. Just to encourage you and to bless you and to remind you that you are not alone. God loves you. And he has promised that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Let us take a few minutes to read this timely reminder. He's the only one who can make what's wrong right. He's the only one who can turn our darkness into light. I'd like to speak to you for a few minutes today from my heart just to encourage you, to bless you and to remind you that you are not alone. God loves you and he has promised that he will never leave you nor forsake you. Let us take a few minutes to read this timely reminder in Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Before I read it, I'd like you to know that this was written to encourage the people of Israel. But these words and this amazing promise is still applicable today. Their Old Testament reality presented their lives with insurmountable challenges and God wanted them to know unequivocally that they could trust Him to lead them to victory. So Deuteronomy 31 verse 6 says, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Thank you, Jesus. So as we try to process or as we try to grapple with all the things that are going on around us today, I want to encourage us to begin to look at these things through the filter or through the lens of God's word. There's a famous quote by Wayne Dyer which says, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. I'd like to say that again. If you change the way you look at things, the things that you look at change. So let's begin to change the way that we look at the challenges. Let us begin to look at them through the mirror of God's word. God's word in Luke 1 verse 37 which says, For nothing is impossible with God. Come on, let's declare it together. Luke 1 37 says, For nothing is impossible with God. Today I want to remind you as well that God loves you. Yes, God loves you. God loves us. And there is never a time in all of eternity that we are not loved by God. There is never a time in all of eternity that we are not loved by God. Jeremiah 31 verse 3 says, The Lord appeared to us in the past saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with loving kindness. And this same God, he is with you. God is with you. You are not forgotten. You are not forgotten. Isaiah 49 verse 15 to 16 says, Never can a mother forget her nursing child. Can she feel no love for the child she has born? Even if that were possible, I would never forget you. See, I have written your name on the palms of my hands. This is what God is saying to us today. God wants to remind us today that we belong to him. You belong to God. You do not belong to yourself. You belong to God. And you are his servant. Isaiah 49 verse 3 says, You are my servant, Israel, and you will bring me glory. Hallelujah. Is there anybody out there who wants to bring God some glory, even in these challenging times? Yes, Lord, here we are. And Isaiah 41 verse 9 to 10 says, I have called you back from the ends of the earth, saying... You are my servant, for I have chosen you and will not throw you away. Do not be discouraged, 
for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. And this same God wants to remind us today that he will be with us. God is with us. God is with you. Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 3 says, But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you. O Israel, the one who formed you says, Do not be afraid, for I have ransomed you, and I have called you by name. You are mine. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. I want to read that again. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, when you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. Thank you, Jesus. So there's no need to fear. Let us approach God with confidence today, knowing that He loves us and we serve a God who hears. We serve a God who cares. We serve a God who heals. And we serve a God that's always with us. So we can come boldly to the throne of grace. As Hebrews 4 verse 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in times of need. And find grace to help in time of need. We thank you, Jesus. So we serve a God who hears. Jeremiah 29 verse 12 to 13 says, Jeremiah 29, 12 to 13 says, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Let us continue to seek him today, friends. Let's seek him with all our heart. His ears are open to our cry. His ears are open to our cry. 1 Peter 3, verse 12 says, For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and His ears are attentive to their prayer. His ears are open. We serve a God who hears. Hallelujah. For the, ear, for the eyes of the Lord, I'm sorry, for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their prayer. 1 John 5 verse 15 says, If we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of him. So I'm here to encourage you to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust in the Lord and you will not be put to shame. These are the promises that we have. This is all we have is his word, his promises. Psalm 22 verse 4 to 5 says, In you our father, in you our fathers trusted. They trusted and you delivered them. To you they cried and were rescued. In you, they trusted and were not put to shame. So as we close this devotional segment today, I'd like to remind you that, number one, God loves you. And he loves you with an everlasting love. This is Jeremiah 31 verse 3. God loves you. Put your hand on your chest, on your head, on your heart and say, God loves me. Jeremiah 31 verse 3 says, God loves me with an everlasting love. And point number two, we serve a God who hears. We serve a God who hears. 1 John 5 verse 14. Number three, God is with you. You are not forgotten. Isaiah 49, 15 to 16. And number four, you are God's servant. Isaiah 41, 9 to 10. You belong to God. 
Number five, God has promised that he will be with you. God is with you. Isaiah 43, 1 to 3. And number six, God will listen to you. Yes, Jeremiah 29, 12 to 13 says, God will listen to you. And it doesn't have to be a fancy prayer. Just speak to him from your heart. He will listen. And number seven, point number seven, his ears are open to your cry. His ears are open to our cry. 1 Peter 3, verse 12. And the final point, trust in the Lord. Number eight, trust in the Lord and you will not be put to shame. Trust in the Lord and you will not be put to shame. Psalm 22, verse 4 to 5. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you. And we thank you, Lord, and we praise you today because you are our God. You are with us. Thank you for waking us up today. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the breath of life that's inside of our lungs. We thank you. Thank you for sustaining us, O oh God. Thank you for preserving us, even in these challenging times. And we thank you for the wealth of your promises that you've laid out in your word. You cannot lie, and your promises and your word will not return unto you void, but they will accomplish in every aspect of our lives. So, Father, we say thank you. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for waking us up today and for blessing us. We come to you now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we say thank you for loving us. Thank you for hearing us. Thank you for being with us even in these trying times. We thank you, Father, that we belong to you. We do not belong to ourselves. We are not alone. We are your servants. And your glory will be seen in and through us. We say thank you. Lord, we thank you for the nearness of your presence and for the warmth of your embrace, your precious love today. Oh God, we ask that you would just surround your children who are listening right now with your warm embrace. Cause them to be assured of the fact that they are not alone and you are with them. And you promise God that you will always be with us. We thank you, Lord, for listening to us and for answering us favorably. Jesus, we thank you, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you that your ears are open to our cry. So we thank you, Lord, for the ability to trust in you. Thank you for strengthening us where we are weak. Open our eyes, oh God. Open the eyes of our hearts today and help us to depend on you because you are indeed, Father, a dependable God. You are a capable God and nothing is impossible with you. We thank you, Jesus, that as we call upon you, we will never be put to shame. We thank you, God, for removing the mask of shame even now from your son's face, from your daughter's face, from your son's life, from your daughter's life. And we thank you, Lord, that you said in your words that th those who call upon you, their faces will be radiant with joy. Cause us to be radiant even in these times, oh God. We thank you for hearing us. We thank you for answering our heart's cry today. And we thank you, Lord, for doing what only you can do in and through our lives. And Lord, we'll be careful to give you all of the praise, all the honor, all of the glory. Thank you that we serve a God who hears. We serve a God that's with us. We serve a covenant-keeping God who said he will never leave us, never forsake us. We thank you. We feel your presence even now. And we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you that we're able to open up our lips, open up our hearts right now to just bless you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercies. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your faithfulness, oh God. Blessed be the name of the Lord God. We thank you for being with us. Thank Thank you for this time together in your presence. Use us now for your glory. Reveal your glory in and through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.